Hi. Um, I haven't seen a video or someone talk about this before. Not that it matters, but I, I don't know how to describe this. I guess I just wanted to go through like in real time of me like calming myself down, like seeing manifestation in action for lack of a better term. Um, like I made a video talking about like what to do when you're, how to, how to stop a spiral and, you know, regulate your nervous system. But so I just saw something in my physical reality and it did not make me feel good. And I automatically was like, okay, <laughs> I have just attached an unfavorable story to this and have accepted it as true. When I have gotten no proof or no evidence of this, like an unfavorable thing happening. And even then, I can't even say proof or evidence because proof or evidence doesn't come from your physical reality, it comes from you. But so, right, I just saw this and I took some, I took some deep breaths and I was like, okay. The only reason why I feel this way currently is because I have attached an unfavorable story to this. I have assumed something negative, assumed something unfavorable, and then I have accepted this as true. So I took a step back and some more thoughts started coming in that were unfavorable. I just let them pass. And I just reminded myself that everything is neutral and no one is forcing me. <laughs> no one is forcing me to feel like I don't have something. No one is forcing me to feel like I have something. No one is forcing me to accept a unfavorable story in my head. Physical reality is not forcing me to do anything. Physical reality does not have the power to force me to do anything or feel anything. I am the only reason why I'm feeling this way. And ever since really... I guess I, not that I focused on that, but you know when you have an epiphany and it's kind of just like, like when you discover manifestation, you look at everything differently. Ever since I heard that affirmation from Dylan James, it things have really been like, okay, like I feel more free and more chill because it's like, I feel like if you don't know that your physical reality can't, your physical reality is a f reflection of you. Your physical reality isn't forcing you to feel anything or your physical reality, like, let's say if you don't get a text back from your SP, your partner, um, then you feel like you have failed. You feel like you haven't manifested them. You feel like they don't like you. It might feel like an outside source is forcing you to feel that way, but the only person that's making you feel that way is you. Um, because somebody cannot text you back and still be thinking about you. Someone cannot text you back and still care for you and love you. Somebody cannot text you back and still be dating you. Like, you're the only reason why you're making yourself feel this way. So <sighs> that is what I did and I'm currently doing. And I definitely feel a little better than before, which was literally like five minutes ago. But yeah, I'm just going to feel my feelings and let it pass and also let the thoughts pass. And something else too that I've talked about before that I've also shouted out Tiff for talking about is just questioning yourself productively. Every time you do anything, it should be to go forward, to not even go towards being your dream self, but to be to be from your dream self, to be your dream self. So a lot of people ask themselves the wrong questions. A lot of people are like, oh, why, why is my physical reality showing me this? Why don't I have it? When you should, because those questions are, are making you go backwards. Those questions are not making you be your dream self. Those questions are making you be insecure. Those questions are not doing anything for you. You should always be doing something to better yourself. So the questions that I love to ask myself that I got from Tiff, one of which is if I have no, if I had no limiting beliefs, who would I be showing up as right now? What would I be thinking right now? 
sometimes I when I when I'm not feeling that good and I and I have accepted a story in my head that is not favorable and I ask myself that question I literally almost start crying because that question is so relieving I like automatically feel relief when I ask myself that question and another question is how would my dream self be thinking and feeling and reacting to this thought right now those are questions that I definitely use a lot and have used a lot recently but I wanted to give I guess like what I am currently doing in the moment because I don't think I've done that on my channel before so I hope that this helps you guys and I hope that if this ever happens to you you can try this out and figure out what to do so once again just realizing that everything is neutral and no one is forcing you to accept a unfavorable story just like no one is forcing you to accept a favorable story that is all up to you you are the one in control you are the one deciding the story um to just let feel your feelings let them pass let the thoughts pass and um ask yourself good questions <laughs>